Hello everyone. So we are going to see today bubble sort logic. And we'll sort our array using bubble sort. Okay. So idea is very simple in bubble sort. What we have to do is we have to take every time the largest element in this array and place it at the end. Okay. So on the first time, if we see the largest element in this array is 12. Okay, so we'll iterate through this complete array, find the largest element and place it at the end. So we get 12 here. Now, ignoring 12, we'll find what is the largest element when we iterate for the second time in this array. So this time we are going to get the next great, greater element that is 11. So we'll place 11 just before 12. Okay. So we are done with 11, we are done with 12. Now again, with the left out element, we'll find the largest element. So this time we are going to get nine. Because we have two nine, we can take either of them. Okay. So this is our array now. Now nine is done. Again, we'll get one more time nine. Yeah. Now we are left with five, five, six, eight. So this time we'll get eight. Now we are left with five, five, six, so we'll get six. Now we are left with five, five, so this time we'll get five. And again, at the last time, we'll get one more time, five. Okay, so basically, what we are going to do is we are going to iterate for one time. Okay, in first iteration, we'll get the largest number that we are going to place at the end. On the next second iteration, we are going to get the again the next greater element. So so far we have got two numbers which are larger among the other numbers, and we placed it towards the end. And on the third iteration, we'll get three largest element. Similarly, we'll keep on getting the next next element. And finally, in n minus one iteration, we are going to get a sorted array. Okay, so we'll see how we are going to sort our array. Okay, how we are going to get the largest element and we are going to sort it. So let's take for the first time, we have these numbers 11, 5, 9, 12, 5, six eight nine so idea is very simple to find the largest element what we are going to do is we are going to compare first with second element second with third third with fourth fourth with fifth fifth with sixth sixth with seventh seventh with eight and find out the largest element so how we do this let's say while we are iterating through the array first time we are pointing to the first element that is 11 so we we'll compare 11 with 5. If my current element is greater than the next element, I'll swipe it. Okay. So because 11 is greater than 5, I'm going to swipe it. And I'm going to write 5 in the first place, 11 at the second place. Okay. Now my this pointer will move to next element. And again, I'm doing, going to do the same thing. I'm going to compare 11 with 9. So because my current element is greater than next element, I'm again going to swipe it. Okay. So now 9 will be here, 11 will be here. And every time pointer moves. So now my pointer is pointing to 11. So when I compare 11 with 12, 12 is larger, that is the next element. So I don't swipe in that scenario and move ahead. So this time when I my pointer is pointing to 12, 12 is greater than next element, I'll again swipe it. Okay, so this time I'm going to get 5 over here and 12 over here. And my pointer will again point to 12. So again my current current number is greater than the next number, I'm going to swipe it. So I'm going to get 6 over here and 12 next. Now my pointer will be pointing to 12. So when I compare 12 with it, my current element is greater than the next element. So again, I'm going to swipe. 
and finally one last comparison we'll do so 12 with 9 12 is greater so we are again going to swipe and we'll get here 9 and 12 at the end so when you see this array on the first iteration what we said 12 will be get placed at the end that happened over here now let's see on the second iteration what happens okay so i'll copy this array as it is 5 9 11 5 6 8 9 12 okay now i'm going to perform the same operation so first time my pointer will point to the first element that is 5 5 when compared with 9 my current element is smaller that's why i'll not swipe it okay so every time what we are going to do is we are going to compare our current element so let's say a is an array so if array of my current number at this array at current position if that is greater than array at c plus one element at c plus one if this condition is true we are going to swipe array of c with array of c plus one element okay so so this time because my current element is not greater will not swipe it and move our pointer to the next element now when we compare 9 with 11 this time we are not going to swipe because current one is smaller compared to next and move the element to next but this time if you see 11 is greater than 5 right so we are going to swipe it so if we swipe it we'll get 5 at the current position and 11 next and here my current pointer will get incremented to 11 yeah so when i compare 11 with 6 again my current element is greater i am again going to swipe it 6 11 and my current pointer will point to 11 now this 11 will again get compared with the next element and again my 11 is greater than 8 so again it will get swipe and pointer will again point to 11 now when 11 gets compared with 9 11 is greater so again it will get swipe so 9 11 and my current pointer is pointing at 11 so one more comparison will do until my current pointer comes to an end so this time 11 is not greater than 12 will not swipe and move our coin pointer to end because our pointer is at end we don't have the next element we will stop here okay so this time if you see this is same as the next iteration so when we are doing the second iteration we got 11 and 12 at the end right so two elements at the end are sorted so far now we'll do one more time okay so this time i'm going to do it little quick so five compared with nine five will be at its own position 9 will be at its own position because 9 is greater than 5 then 9 and 5 will be compared and 5 will be here 9 will be next again 9 and 6 will be compared so 9 is greater that's why 6 will come here 9 will be here 9 and 8 will be compared again so 9 is greater than 8 so again 8 will be here 9 will be here now 9 9 gets compared both are same no swipe and then 9 will, and 11 will get compared both are uh, i mean next element is greater so no swipe and 11 and 12 get compared no swipe so this time if you see in the third iteration we got 9 11 and 12 at the end right so every time one will get one element will get its own actual position right so one more time if we do this next time what what we are going to get is four elements sorted next time we'll get five elements sorted next time we are going to get six elements sorted next time we're going to get seven elements sorted
and next time we are going to get all the elements sorted so let's see how many iterations should we do to make our whole array sorted okay so basically we can stop over here because when we are left with one element that is the time whole array is sorted so if we start counting from here one two three four five six seven yeah so seven if we have an array of size eight we are going to do seven times seven iteration to sort the complete array hope this logic was clear right now what we can do is let's see how to code this okay so i have an array of size 11 of size 8 and we took the same element 11 5 9 12 5 6 8 9 so now what i'm going to do is i'll write a logic which iterate, iterates one time and move the largest element to the end okay so how do we write that logic so we have to write a for loop for int j is equal to zero j less than here because the size is eight uh in one iteration how many comparison comparison we were doing let's see so one comparison two three four five six seven comparison so if the size is eight we have to do seven comparison so j less than seven j plus plus yeah so idea is very simple what we do is we check if my current element that is uh, the element at jth position so array of j is if greater than array of j plus one we will swipe it so swipe is a function in c plus plus we will, which will handle the swipe so array of j will get swipe with array of j plus one yeah that simple so this is you are iterating one time and swiping it right but we have to perform this operation seven time here if the array size is eight right so we have to put this inside one loop right so we'll write uh, another loop let's say for int i is equal to zero i less than seven this is also one time less i plus plus right and these many times we have to do this operation to sort our array. now let's see if our code sorts the array or not right so uh what i'll do is i'll just comment out our logic here i'll just try to print the normal array first time okay so how do we compile in c plus plus g plus plus file name dot cpp and if we have to execute it a dot yeah so we got 11 5 9 12 5 6 8 if i have to output it in some file here I can write output.txt. Yeah. So we are getting the original array that is 11, 5, 9, 12, 5, 6, 8, 9. Now, if you have to use bubble sort, I'll just uncomment this, compile it once again, and run it once again. And we got the sorted array 5, 5, 6, 8, 9, 9, 11, 12. So this is simple now one optimization which we can do is instead of every time going till the end and comparing we know one thing on the first time first element will be i mean the last element will be sorted next time two element will be sorted next next time three element will be sorted so no need to every time go till end right first time we can go only till minus one next time we can go till minus two next time we can go to till minus three whole size minus three right so here we can do seven minus i so first time i will be zero next time it will give one next time it will be two so this is a slight optimization let's see if it works yeah so still i got the sorted array 
Thank you, everyone. Hope this was helpful for everyone.